Festival. Hey everybody, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM. Thanks for joining us for week two of our month-long Friday Night Horror Fest, where we are, we hope, getting you in the Halloween spirit. We're in the middle of a double feature of film starring an actor who could creep out an audience like few others, Peter Lorre. Our theme tonight is Rogue Body Parts, and up next, Lorre is having trouble with a severed hand that just won't stay still. From Warner Brothers in 1946, it's The Beast with Five Fingers. The story follows the mysterious death of a partially paralyzed concert pianist played by Robert Alda and the subsequent discovery that his hand was amputated after his death. Pretty soon, the pianist's secretary, played by Lori, begins to believe the hand is responsible for a uh, handful of dark deeds. Now, if you want to make a movie about the killer hands of a concert pianist, you really had to call Peter Lorre. He owned the genre. Nearly a decade earlier, he played a doctor who attached murderous hands to a concert pianist who'd lost his hands in an accident. That was the film we just showed, Mad Love. Once Warner Brothers had Lorre, they set about convincing director Robert Florey to make The Beast with Five Fingers. Florey, though, was so opposed to the assignment that he accepted a multi-month suspension from the studio rather than make the film. The studio, of course, won out in the end, but despite Flory's reluctance, he crafted a genuinely scary and lavish-looking feature on a B-picture budget, though without the artistic control he wanted. The French director had a background in German expressionist filmmaking, and he used those techniques, especially shooting from unusual angles and creating inventive compositions to enhance the chilling effects of the scenes. This was Flory's second time working with Peter Lorre. Lorre starred in Flory's 1941 thriller, The Face Behind the Mask. From 1946, also starring Andrea King, Victor Franson, and J. Carol Nash, here's The Beast with Five Fingers. <laughs> 